Hi, my name is Meredica Mukherjee, and I'm a sophomore at Miller North High School. Yay! And the title of my poem is Crimson High Tides. The first color that the human eye can distinguish is red. Straight from the womb, right after birth, we are seeing red. Red can be used to show, to convey, to mark the signs and sides of evil, of bad, of horrific. And when I leave stains, red stains, I show, I convey, I mark my kind and size of pain, of hurt, of ruin. Red is adventure, and red is strength, and red is excitement, and yet when I see red, I think of how red is stop, and red is torment, and red is danger. Danger draws attention, just like blood seems to draw attention. No, blood yearns for attention, the commotion around crimson, the denotation of drops that drip, drip, drip. My blood is as red as the roses on the bottles of perfume I spray to hide the evidence that comes from my very own Red Sea. Red is the fire of the flames wedged in the spot behind my belly. Red is the disgust that fuels the all-consuming hate towards my body for making me pain in this bloody cage. But even then, you mistook my pain as incompetence, as an excuse, as weakness. No, pain is not weakness. It keeps us aware of the shifts in our bodies and makes us turn to each other to ask for help. It shows up at our doors to let us know that yes, I know it hurts, but it's that time. And you need to know that your systems are working, that your body is alive. Yes, I am alive, more alive than ever, especially with all the Red Sea that flows through me. Woo!